This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Hey, everybody. Hi. On the show today, geez, what a... What a ride it's been. Oh, eh? Nat, it was I so know. good. The games we yeah. played today I were know. outstanding. Weren't they, Sean? Thank you, Nate. Uh, that damn time was just... Um, Too lots a travesty. of it. And, and, and a travesty, both of them. It's a journey, yeah. both of them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and Enjoyable. also we uh, find out why Sean's going to school prison. <laughs> <laughs> Up too much. You really did. did. Are you, are you, you, knew, well, you know what? Why don't you elbow me well, or the, something? No, the no. damage is done. They can't no. get you now. No. Um, <laughs> plus, we caught up with cousin Tasma, Tasma Walsh. We certainly did. Jeremy McGovern also joins us, and he tells us about when he was drafted. It's a really great story. Yeah. This is Nathan Nat and Sean. We good here on Nova nine three seven. Let's go. It's five past six. Nathan Nat and Sean. Happy Friday. Yeah, how oh exciting! My God. Friday yes, for a long on. weekend. You gotta love that. Why you Nathan, no, you got to lift, face? mate. You've got to no, lift. I just do have a long face. <laughs> 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 a long face, a long face on a big head. <laughs> when people say ones with a long face, I'm like, yeah, I can't do anything about the length. <laughs> <laughs> people face. with that with don't have long faces don't get it. <laughs> that comment really hurts. <laughs> <laughs> We've gotten off on the wrong foot. Um, <laughs> We've got two rounds of About Damn Time today, our favourite competition. God, it's been fun. Yeah, yeah we're going to get stuck into that this morning. Who else we got? The Governor's going to come oh. in for a bit of a chat. Simon yes. Hill's going to talk about the FA Cup final. Big yeah. match. Yeah, WA OK as That's well. That's been fun yes. today, yeah, for a bit of a steak hour. There will it be. WA. And Cousin Tasma will join yeah. us. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Oh, can I just tell you a quick, here's a quick story just to get things underway. Sure, why not? Last night, my son Ollie was supposed to go to a dinner dance. Yes. He pulled out, right? Why? Because... He thought the dinner dance was with CBC, Iona, yeah. and Trinity. He thought Trinity was an all girls school. Oh, Trinity? Really? Yeah, That's he how says he found to me, out. he goes, oh, da- I'm not gone anymore. I said, why is that? And he goes, well, I thought, well, I know all the girls at Iona, but I don't know all the girls at Trinity. And, and then they said- told me it was a boys' school. <laughs> And so then he went, I can't so what go. Did he say? He goes, so all the girls at Trinity wear pants. <laughs> so was he Trinity worried wage. that there'd be too much competition for the girls because Pro- it was there? Probably. Were- but also, I thought all the private schooly kids knew about each other. Oh, like, CBC's yeah. in the in the fake privates. Hey, Harry, you're in the, John the oh 23. the lower tier. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're in the Catholic school. Oh, the, oh, the and Trinity's in the Bajos. top tier. Yeah, yeah. Bajos. Bajos. Yeah. Bajos. yeah. The, the, and Trinity's quite up there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah it's in the right top there. tier. No, you know what it is. You always know how successful you are by how close you your education is to the causeway. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good the call. If I said it before, I'll say it again. <laughs> yeah. So he was worried about being a povo, so he stayed home. But he he's got a cast on. That would have been that would have got the girls. Yeah, that would have got the question. Yeah, yeah, anyway. Girls love that. Yeah. Trinity, it's not a girl's school. There you go. <laughs> what a way to find out. What an idiot. It's going to be right. a great day. Um, Lizzo tickets, not too far away. If it's time for a winter trip, jump on What If, the place to go for quick Aussie getaways. Oh, I reckon it'd be a hotel staycation for me. For accommodation, flights and more, book on the What If app. What If, it's Aussie for travel. All right, here we go. We're about to play a round of About Damn Time. All you need to do is be quick at listing off things that fit the category we give you. Simple, right? Up for grabs, two Bankwest best seats to see Lizzo perform at REC Arena. Well, the best thing is Clinton gets the opportunity to walk away with these tickets straight off the bat. G'day, Clinton. Good morning. How are you? Good, Good man. Good, Clinton. Clinton. How long have you been up for this morning? Um, about 20 minutes. Okay. Right. Right. So you're right. You're ready to go. <laughs> yep, have you had a coffee? Have you had a coffee? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Here's what's going to happen. We are going to give you a category. You then have to uh, list off five things that fit that category in five seconds, Clinton, and we'll give you the tickets, okay? Okay. You no confident? Uh, yeah, let's go with okay. yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and Ruby, today is our judge determining uh, whether your answers fit the category. So there's no, you know, it's not on us, obviously. Okay. <laughs> you ready? You feeling it, Clinton? I am. All yes. right. Nathan, hit <laughs> him with his first category. All right. Clinton, your category is... Things that you put in your mouth but don't eat. Go. To- toothbrush, toothpick, tooth floss, um, some. <laughs> some. Started. I really honed in and he was like, oh, I'm, I'm strong. really curious to know what some was. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Clinton, no joy. Uh, we no, move on thanks. to. <laughs> Thank you for playing, though. Kirsty's in Mount Azura. Hello. Hello, how are you? Great, Kirsty. Okay, <clears throat> same deal. Five seconds. To give us five things that fit this category. Kirsty, things that you were 
if you were two foot tall, you wouldn't be able to reach? Go. Kitchen, bench, car door, roof, uh, stool and TV. Well, I think a car door... And TV... You'd yeah, be able to reach both of those, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. Sorry, Kate. Yeah. Yeah. I know, yeah. I know, but you gave yeah. me a good crack. Uh, Claire's in Stuart Hill. Hello. Hello. Hi, Claire. Claire. All right, Claire. Are you feeling it? That this I'm feeling it. Moment? All right. Absolutely. Okay. Claire, your category yep. is things that a baby shouldn't do. Uh, such a stove, go outside by itself. I go swimming, go there. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely right, though, Claire. But you ran out of time. <laughs> You're too short, mate. <laughs> but you'd make a great parent, so well done. <laughs> Dan's in Churchlands. Hi, Dan. Morning, guys. Hey, Hi, Dan. Dan. All right, Dan. Got a brand new category for you. Are you ready? Yep, that's good. Things that are dangerous to do while you're naked, go. Um, swimming, um, it's... Uh, by the campfire. <laughs> That's true. But swimming, I don't think swimming's swimming. dangerous. Nah, it's not. Swimming, swimming not. in yeah. petrol, yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the ironing, dangerous, you know. Um, sorry, Dan. Martina, hello. How are we? Hi, Great, Martina. Martina, Martina right. five things we're looking for, of course. Yeah, of course. Give me... Topics to talk to an Uber driver about. Go. Weather, traffic, who he's taking with him today, what's on the radio and what he's doing on the weekend. Oh, did the you get bell. the last one in on the... I think no. the bell got you. Ruby saying no. Close, oh, Martina. But you're very, very close, Martina. Sorry. Uh, Shannon's in Warnborough. Hello. Good morning, beautiful people. Oh, Shannon. What a great show. Yeah. Can you I've see had two us in coffees. Here, I've you? been up since five. I'm ready to go. Oh, oh, how many enough. coffees did you two. say? Two. Two. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> All right, Shannon. Your category okay. is things that require light bulbs. Go. Um, your boobs, your head, your toes, uh, your bed. Completely did wrong. You, what did you hear? What did you think I said? <laughs> what did you, What did you hear? Because sure. because it was things that require light bulbs. Oh, could be, could be light bulbs. <laughs> what did you say? Oh, things yeah. that look like light bulbs. Yeah. Things that look like light Boobies. bulbs. Oh, sweetheart, that is so cute. That's a way better category. <laughs> oh, Shannon, she, she's been up since five and she's had two coffees. Oh, no. <laughs> not. Simon's in Dunk Craig. Morning, Simon. Morning, guys. So, hey, Simon, we're just on, trying man. to give away Lizzo tickets here, OK? <laughs> now, it's yeah, your right. job to give us five things that fit the category we give you. Are you All ready? Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, OK. We're looking for things a sailor would do when they're on shore leave. Go. Uh, go to the pub, bottle shop, nightclub. <laughs> what about the ladies of the night, Simon? Were you thinking that? Yeah, that was the first thing. No, I didn't want to say it. <laughs> that was the first Everyone's thing. Everyone's trying to be so polite. <laughs> Sorry, the answer Simon. for that is sex, 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 sex. <laughs> we go on to Darren in Stoneville. Hi, Darren. Hey, how you going, guys? Hi, Darren. Darren. Do a chance to swoop in and get these uh, Lizzo tickets. Right, we need five things, obviously, Darren. Yep. Your category okay. is classic old lady names. Go. Uh, Liz, Taylor, Sheila, uh, Janice, Wilford, uh, Marie, Tanya. And we Can had we Taylor in there as number Taylor. three. Is no, Taylor that's not a classic, is not old, a classic old lady, old lady name. We're talking name. Cheryl, Beryl, all the, <laughs> yes. all the Errols. Marjorie. Marlene, Marjorie, <laughs> Taylor. Shirley. Taylor. 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 <laughs> Bring me a grandmother named Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Darren, we can't pay it. Um, Danny, hello. Yeah, good morning. How are you doing? All right, oh, Danny. Danny. We are just trying to give away Lizzo tickets, my friend, okay? Yeah, yeah. well, I'll give it the best. <laughs> All right, that's, that's the spirit. Okay, um, let's see. Your category is things that you pour. Go. Uh, beer, water, uh, water jug, beer jug, um, uh, oh, a kettle. <laughs> Beer, yeah. and a beer jug, water, and a water jug. <laughs> but he yeah. didn't get five away in time anyway, even if we were going to pay that, which we weren't. <laughs> Kinga Love it. Sorry, Daddy. Um, Paul from Beely is up next. Hello, Paul. 
How are you going? Hey, good, good, man. Paul. Just trying to give away Lizzo tickets. We're doing our best here, Paul. This is your chance to swoop in, OK? Uh, you, you guys are doing a great job. It's just everybody else. I, I <laughs> know, you. mate. We Thank know, you. Paul. Yeah. We All know. Right, Paul. Um, are you ready? I am. All right. Different types of fighting styles. Go. Kung fu, karate, boxing, jumping... Jumping. jumping. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> that's when a fight's coming towards you and you jump over it. <laughs> oh, that's a style. Jiu-jitsu, taekwondo, <laughs> wrestling. Oh, hey, Paul, it was a great start. And then you just fell off the cliff, didn't you? Jumping. Sorry, Paul. Um, we move on to Amy. Hello. Morning. Amy. Oh, hey. Morning, Amy. We've gone through a few but at this stage, Amy. This could be destiny. <laughs> Not feeling hopeful right really? now. Come on, from the Golden Bay, <laughs> Based mate. on everyone else. All right. You we'll can do it. You Different category it. all together, Amy, yeah. for you, obviously. Here we go. Amy. Different types of flooring go. Oh, laminate tiles, wood, plastic and rubber. Plastic. Plastic. You're putting glad wrap down on your floors. <laughs> what about Sorry, carpet? Amy. You were, yeah, carpet. <laughs> Does that get a run? Slate. Concrete. Floor. Floor concrete. Boards. <laughs> uh, no joy. Um, Eddie is in South Perth. Hello. Hey there. Hey, hey Eddie. Eddie. All right. We're just trying to find five things that fit the category in five seconds for you to win Lizzo tickets. All right. All right. Are you ready? Yep. Eddie, your category is... Things you can cut in half. Go. Wood, tyres, trees, pencils. <laughs> an orange, a pie, tires? an apple. You can. You can. You can cut it. Well, really, if, if you can get a blade through it, you yeah. can cut anything in half. Yeah. Yeah. But he yeah, didn't yeah, get yeah. He he turned it into a swing. He, he didn't give us swing. five. Yeah. Sorry. Eddie. Sorry, Eddie. Oh, Natasha. Possibly the easiest one. Is it lower jittering? Hi, Tash. Hi, how's it going? Great. Oh, we're just great. trying to give away these other tickets and get to the 6.30 news. Yeah. Um, five things in five seconds. Are you ready, Chad? Yeah, ready. All right, here we go. Things that you don't put in a sandwich. Go. Sand, dirt, Hair. <laughs> true, You're though, right. true. All of those are great answers to fit the category. There's only three of them, though, unfortunately, Tash. Um, almost anything. Bicycle. <laughs> Could be heavy. <laughs> Your foot. <laughs> FIFA, hello. Hello, morning, guys. Hey, buddy. Okay. This could okay. be your moment. We've got Lizzo tickets to go. We want you to win them, okay? Five right things on. to fit this category. FIFA, your subject is things that you shake. Go. go. Protein shake, milk, yogurt, uh, fire up pancake mix. <laughs> pancake mix is a good one. Pancake yeah. mix is yeah, a good yeah. one. A dish shake yeah. milk. Oh, I guess you can give it a, a stir. milkshake. Yeah. Literally. Mm. And it's always, <laughs> no milkshake. And it's always shake, important shake. to shake a yogurt before you <laughs> 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 make it. I think milk's not that one. It probiotics. It makes probiotics. I mean, it, didn't, it doesn't say thing, uh, things that you should shake, just things you can shake. Oh, okay, cool. Um, cool. Marie's in Thornley. Hello. Hello, how are you going? Marie, okay, Marie. Marie, it's going to be Monday again. We'll all be back yeah, at work right. on time. Things then. <laughs> okay, Marie, uh, we've got to find a category for you. Let's see. Okay, your category is stuff that bogans love. Go. Uh, bogan shirt, uh, white beater shirt, uh, beer, vodka. What's a bogan shirt? How would you describe a bogan shirt? <laughs> A, bo- a bogan's wearing it. <laughs> flano, a flano. Flano. Are you, are you, are you stupid? Yeah. Sorry, no. Sorry, yes. not enough there. Uh, Hazel, hello. Hello. How are you going? Great, Hazel. Hazel. Hey, what's their numbers up to? Anybody? Oh, I don't know. We haven't been keeping track. Yeah. About 300. Yeah. Okay. All right, Hazel, are you ready? 15. Yeah. Five things <laughs> yes. in five seconds. Are you ready? All right. All right, here we go. Things that don't bleed. Go. Um... Sunglasses, brushes, combs, um, knives. Oh. Oh. All true, That's but right. you only got four. Never seen a sunglass ever bleed. Ne- never, never. <laughs> Sorry, weird, Hazel. <laughs> Chris is in Bayswater. Hello. Hey, guys. How are you? Yeah, hey, good. buddy. <laughs> Chris. Chris. Come on, Chris. You can do it. Lizzo tickets. Here we go. We need to hear from five unisex names. Go. Uh, Charlie, Mac, uh, Leah, or... Oh. Uh, Leah. Leah. Hey, Chris, what about Chris? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I saw that easy, is it? I saw that bloody easy. What about Robin? That also applies. Hello, Robin. Good morning. Robin. Hey, Robin. Okay, Robin, we need five things that fit this category. You ready? Yeah. Stuff that stains your clothes. Go. Blood. Food, food, coffee, tea, wine. She did it. She did it. She did it! She started slow and then just came storming home. That was a big one. Robin, crazy. Oh, we did it. You have won two Banquet's Best Seats to watch Lizzo perform live at RAC Arena. Friday the 14th of July. Food and drinks included. You're going to have a ripping time, Robin. Well done. Oh, that was hilarious. Thanks for the oh, no, Thank you for finally hilarious. getting it. <laughs> that was so um, good. And That's also, uh, remember, we're playing again. We are. We're doing this again. Later this morning. This is a podcast of Nathan, Nat and... And Sean. Tasma uh, Walton. Hello. Hey, hey, Tasma. Hey, Tasma. Hey, Tasma, before we get into um, the amazing movie that you've made, I want to talk about family dinners. And when oh. you ask to bring a plate, what do you bring? <laughs> oh, when I'm asked to bring a plate, oh, look, my default setting is always lamingtons. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'd rather any dinner just be about dessert. As in, do you make the lamingtons or do you buy them? A uh, long tradition of making lamingtons. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. What's the but secret these, to a good lamingtons? Days, well, it's it's you do not mix your chocolate sauce with your coconut. Ah. Yeah, so you've got to use separate, separate hands. Yes. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. We, okay, years, years ago, good. Taz, years ago we um, spoke to a guy and um, we uh, and he rang up to tell us the, the, the difficulties he has when making lamingtons. Mm-hmm. And then we said, well, tell, talk, talk us to the method. How do you make them? And then he said he, um, was it, he butters bread. Stacks it together and then butters the outside and then dips it in Milo. And we what? said, That's not a <laughs> lemon. <laughs> That's not a lemon. It was Some pretty easy weird to... invention <laughs> of your own mind. Yeah. It was easy to figure out where he was going wrong. Yeah. 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 That's a <laughs> Lamington, mate. That's a great skill. Remember Lamington drives at school? You yes. always yes. had to do this. Yes. 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 And your mum and dad would have to put those. the bill because you'd just been knocking them off left, right, yeah. and centre before you sold any of them. I know. Oh, Good times. Actually, when Tasma just walked in, she said, Is her birthday coming up? Because the Family, the extended family, yeah. is so big. There's mm. always something happening. I was going to say, never in know that family, there's yet. always a birthday. So, yeah, the, so the answer is right. yes, but yes. we just don't know who. <laughs> <laughs> just like just a, a lucky dip. Draws yeah, no exactly. Out of the hat. Exactly. One of them. Now you've made a movie, another one. You're very prolific these days. I tell oh. you what, um, Sweet As, which was filmed up north. It was up in Port Hedland and surrounds yeah. up in the beautiful Pilbara area. Yeah. Can I just say, amazing Tasma, scenery. It, it is beautiful. And every time I see a movie that is shot in Western Australia or straight away. I just go to God, that must have been hot. Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys were up there late in the year. You're right, Nathan. Uh, I remember uh, Carrageenie in particular. Yeah, yeah. So, well, well, a lot of it was sort of Crather and Port Hedland, uh, Millstream, Carrageenie, around that area. Um, but no, we were there sort of mid-year, so it was actually... Oh, it was okay. Oh, that's that's perfect it was probably time. the perfect time. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it was so gorgeous. I love that dry heat. Yeah. Well, put me near a pool in the dry heat and I'm the happiest. Yeah, person, yeah. It's, humidity, though, is the worst. Like, mm. it's one extreme to the other, isn't mm. it? I've been in Broome in November and I've never felt more oppressed in all my life. <laughs> it's just so awful. Yeah, it can be absolutely horrendous. Yeah. Oh, I was thinking, because I think Rove said that he was up in Carrageenie. I thought you guys went uh, up there later in that we year. We did. We did, actually. We sort of did a quick trip up there in December. Yeah. Which, again, it was warm, but, you know, you've got all these incredible water holes to go and visit. Yeah. You can walk down all those stairs get really hot and then jump in. And I think the movie really captures the landscape as a character. Yeah. yeah. You know, you can really feel the energy of those landscapes. So, yeah, we've, beautiful. We've recently worked with a bus as well, a mini bus. Oh. Um, we were with the Premier and we went on a road trip with him and mm. the bus got broken into outside of the Bunbury, Bunbury Dolphin Centre. Did it really? Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, with oh. press and everything everywhere. Yeah, yeah. And, oh and police, goodness. like the, the Premier's what? police detail yeah. was with us yeah. too. Very how did, bold. How did, I know. You, how did you go with your little mini bus? Oh, I loved my bus. <laughs> Because you're the driver. That's Loved part of it. your character. That's yes, what she that's does. right. She drives the bus. Yes. My bus was... Her name was Betty. Yes. She was a manual, which I love. <laughs> there is a... You can drive a manual in real life? Of course. Of course. Yes, yes. Of so course. these days... Kids can't drive manuals, no. and it's going to be bad news in the apocalypse. Yeah, it will be. Does. I agree. I'm absolutely with you on that one. Um, look, I love my bus. There is, there is a deadly bus stunt that I did. Yeah. That didn't make the film. So oh, was, oh. It oh. was it going around a roundabout without hitting the curb? <laughs> yeah. anyway, no, I had to. I had to go real fast and then stop really quickly, and yes. the whole back of the bus, like it was on a gravel road. Yeah. Oh, so it would have slid out from behind. Oh. Yeah. 
Like, you know, adrenaline rush. But then I did it the second time. Yeah. And it was amazing. That would be the first thing that you would want in so you can tell it. Look at this. I did this myself. I did exactly that when I did the ADR. I was like, where's my bus stunt? Like, I can can have a second career here as a stunt. That that must be so frustrating as an actor. Yeah. To know that you've done one of your favourite things you've done in the movie and then to go and see a final version and not be there. Not there. Does that happen a lot? It actually happens a lot more than you no. like to think it does. Oh, that's yeah. devastating, isn't yeah. it? It was particularly devastating because I was very happy with myself. Yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> so yeah. can you tell us a little bit about the synopsis of the movie for people that are wanting to know? Yes, yeah, so so it, uh, it centres around a young a young girl, a young Indigenous girl, who is what they say is an at-risk at kid. Yes. She's got mm. some family troubles. And then there's this team that comes in, my character and, and Carlos's character come in with a photo safari, uh, basically a way of taking taking those at-risk kids out of their everyday environment and giving them, you know, something different to experience, yeah. taking them out on country, engaging with country through an artistic lens, you know, through a photographic lens. And actually an actual camera and an yeah. iPhone yeah, as well, which would be your first, yeah. first experience for most kids, <laughs> SLR. Exactly. Yeah. Proper way. Um, and in doing so, it sort of opens up a whole new world for yeah. this young yeah, girl. Nice. Um, and and yeah. true story? True yeah, story. Yeah, yes. based, based on Jubby, the writer-director's... Yes. Um, personal story. That's yeah. what happened to her as a young young woman up in the Kimberleys. Yeah. And um and she saw through that uh, the way that the arts can heal yes, and, and it's obviously a transformative yeah. experience. Yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah, did you have to get permission to be able to shoot up, up and around uh, Karajini in particular? Absolutely. And, and, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know the traditional mob up there were wonderful, very welcoming. Um, obviously, you have got to be incredibly respectful. Yeah. Yep. You know they are a lot of sacred places on those those countries. Yeah. Yeah. Extraordinary. Well, well speaking of talents too, to add to that, have you fin- you you're writing books? Where, where you yes, at, where yes. You at with your you're books? You're slashy. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm actually uh, working on a middle grade uh, kids novel series yep. at the moment. So I'm, I was just talking before, I've got a deadline next week and I'm oh, like, oh, ah! That would give me anxiety, yes, a deadline. And, and a you're doing promos for your movie as yes, well. Yes, <laughs> yeah, um, which is really exciting. I can't wait for it to come out. I think the first one will be out in October, I think. Yeah. Hey, in yeah. Australia, when you're writing a book, do they do what they do when you see it in America? Um, do they give an advance? Is that what they do? Uh, because they I would, a, I would. It's a bit of a token gesture. I was going to say, I would, I would <laughs> never spend that in advance in case, in case, in case it didn't get done. I can have the money back. Well, you How's you that really taken back? You have to pay it back if you don't. Do work. you? Oh yeah, my yeah, yeah. god! Yeah. But no, in Australia, it's unfortunately we're not. You know, we're not in the kind of realm of some of those big yes. American things. Yeah. But yeah, it's a bit of a token gesture, and then you hope that the book sells, and then you get your cut from that. Sometimes yeah. I think, think about like when P- Prince Harry brought out Spare, and yes. they gave him the advance, and it was like you know millions and millions of dollars. He goes like, oh my. God. No, I have to actually do this. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of pressure. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, check out Sweet As, everybody, for to see Tasma's fine work. Thank you for coming in. Thank Tasma. you for having me. Nathan, Nat, and Sean in podcast form. WA Day Festival is back over two massive days, June 4 and 5 at Thurswood Park. All details at waday.com. All right, we're about to celebrate all things WA. Absolutely, but before you head to WA Day Festival this long weekend, we need to see how well you know our state. Yeah, yes. Or I should not let in. Hi, Teresa. Happy Donut Day. Oh, oh thanks, thanks, Teresa. Teresa. Thank what you. a time to be alive. Donut Day sliding straight into WA oh, Day. Imagine. And a up. long weekend. All good. Hold on. Uh, Teresa, uh, it's usually hard going first. Mm. It is. Yes, I'm That's okay. going a million miles an hour. Yeah, yeah you'll no, be right. No, you're going to be fine. So we're going to give you the category mm. of the WA icon that you're trying to figure out. Then you're going to get a one-word clue, okay? Yeah. And then okay. you'll have to just have a guess. So we've done places. Cool. We've done things to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Businesses. Yes. Today, we're looking for a prominent West Australian, okay? Okay, mm. yep. And your clue, my dear, is 30. Oh, who do you think it could be? Oh. Quick. Mm. No. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. No first. joy, Teresa. Rachel, hello. Hey, how are you? Hey, Hi, Rachel. 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 Okay, your clue, Rachel, to figure out this prominent West Australian. Husband. Who could it be? Um, Mark McGowan. <laughs> Mark McGowan? Yeah. You want to lock that in? Yeah. 
You are correct. <laughs> <laughs> no way! <laughs> <laughs> he was a 30th primer, obviously. And husband, because he is, he is one, husband. you have scored a WA staycation package worth 500 bucks, right? Oh, my God. It's not that hard, right? Yeah. yeah, I don't know what's that wrong with everyone else. Well done, mate. Rachel, well done, mate. Yes. That's well done. done. Thanks. Beautifully done. You have a great WA Day long weekend, Rach. I will. I will now. I know. That's pretty good, isn't that? Well done, Rach. Okay. Now we've got to fill another 10 minutes Three of the shot. show. <laughs> Don't worry. We've got well, a round of about damn time coming up oh, yes, soon, so that should cover down. that off. The Nathan, Matt and Sean podcast. Wake up in the morning, feeling shiny. Gee, I got to go to school. What? Sean, it's from. The grassy junior high. Okay. This is, this is this is what this is a true indication of school of what school was like. Yes, for and also all. it's a way to for people to figure out exactly how old you are. The question you know, I've had many know, different has, iterations. Has, since. Yeah, that's true. You so got another one for us? So one? No, 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 no. Just that. I want to talk about schools here in Perth because mm-hmm. I didn't know this was happening. Right. So students at some of Perth's top schools have had their enrolments cancelled after it revealed their parents falsely claimed they lived in the same Ooh. catchment zone as the school. This is unbelievable, right? So I was Imagine this happening, the schools. Sean. Yeah, well, that's amazing, Nate. I've never seen this <laughs> yeah, before. Yeah, so documents <laughs> showing at least 10 families have had their children's enrolments cancelled. So they will cancel your child's enrolment. Yeah, if they and find question out. due to catchment fraud, fraud they're calling it, at uh, one of Perth's most sought after um, public high schools um, over the past five years. Um, so it's got a list of some of the different schools, you know. Ross Moyne's one uh, of them. Ross very Moyne's very highly sought after. So the Ross Moyne one is very, very interesting, right? So um, uh, the Ross Moyne, they had a house in question, a student in question. Yeah. So they went and visited the pro- uh, the, um, the the property a few times in 2018. Okay, um, then they made contact with the owner, and they said they um, they have never been present, and the owner cannot confirm that they reside there, but they can confirm that they are paying rent. So. Um, the people um, that have been dealing with this have turned around and said um, they've heard of anecdotal stories before that people have rented in a particular school catchment zone just to enable that their child gain access so they've got to an what address. they deem. So literally, these people are renting a house and not but living, not living in, in it. it. Renting a this person rented a house. Well, no wonder we've got a rental crisis. I didn't live in it. <laughs> Who would think of that idea? <laughs> Sean's writing it down right Sean, now. Sean. So, Sean, has this? Does this strike a chord? Does this strike a chord? Two years ago, I was doing this with my older son. I was just going to pop him in a a, a place. Um, just a tent on a medium man. strip. Yeah, <laughs> just a real, the cheap asses joint that you can think of. Was, you know those was, flats out there? Who's going to move into my spare room, is yeah. what you're saying. Around us, there's all these shitbox flats, yeah. for what of a better term. Sorry about the language, but... Um, yeah, uh, that's the lengths you need to go to because you you want to move your child into a particular school, but if you're outside of that catching zone, yeah. it, you know if it's going to cost. But you he got into bucks. a specialist program, so he didn't yeah. need to do that. But weren't you but doing it, it with your like primary school time. kids as well? Because you didn't live in the Richmond zone, <laughs> and they went to Richmond Primary School allegedly. So how did you, <laughs> but how did that happen? I did this. Uh, all how the would time. you happen? No, no, how would you? I've ha- done this all the time. Yeah, but how? Like, like how did you do that? How did you do that? Well, you just lied on a form. Hundred percent. You just lied on a form. Yes. I, I can tell you that years ago, a friend did ask me if he could use my <laughs> chiropractic <laughs> clinic life? address. <laughs> So that he could get his kid into the the school. <laughs> Everyone's doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I tell you? Another oh yeah. Thing? Oh, yeah, okay, go. When, when, I, when I was a kid as well, mum and dad were moving out of the East Fremantle zone for football, and yeah. we are a staunch East Fremantle yes, family. Yes. So we had so you to lied then, about your address? My brother, Ben, I think we're living out in the South Fremantle zone, so then we transfer the, the name over to uh, Rove's Joint. Yes. Gamma Court. No, run, sorry. They were in June Place. June yeah. Place. Yeah. Just so we could make sure. And that's the same with so the that, school. So that Ben would play for East Fremantle, not South Fremantle. Yeah. So how many generations of your family have been yeah. involved in catchment fraud? <laughs> 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 does, this, does this go back to the yeah. 1800? We get Grandma Mac on, I tell you what. Nathan, I, I know somebody that works at a primary school yeah. and in the, in the office. So, you know, she's in charge of this sort of stuff and she said... It's rampant. She just doesn't ask too many questions. But if they if their numbers get too close to the threshold, they then have to because if people from within the catchment can't get in, they have to start looking around. So where do we? How do we make some room? Do you here? reckon some of the undesirable schools ever have to worry about this? <laughs> <laughs> Certainly not a problem in Kalgoorlie, is it? <laughs> it's the Nathan, Matt, and Sean podcast.
hear it for Lizzo from the best seats in the house. Thanks to Bankwest. Um, we're about to play a round of About Damn Time. But well, all you need to do is be quick at listing things off that fit the category we give you up for grabs. The best, best seats in the house. These are premium Bankwest best seats to see Lizzo from the concert club. Yep. Food, drinks, mm, rubbing shoulders with rich people. Oh, oh, I know. Rubbing. Oh. It's happening Friday, 14th of July at RAC Arena. Andrea, are you the person to get into this concert club and rub shoulders with all the fancy people? Hi, Andrea. Oh, I hope so. Hi, Andrea. Mm. Now, Andrea, um, this morning we did an early round in the mm. 6 o'clock hour in which it took 18 people to find a winner. <laughs> 18. Oh, dear. I, I know, know, right? Dough. So easy, okay. though. So yeah. we're going to give you a category, Andrea. You've then got five <laughs> seconds to list off five things, that, but they have to fit that yep. category, okay? Yep. You've got to be quick because well, okay. we're only going to give you three seconds to give us an answer. Oh, no, she's got five seconds to list them. Oh, sorry, five yes. seconds. Yes. Oh. That was a different one. That was a different, that was a different competition, Nathan. Yeah. No, let's make it harder. Are you ready? It's hard enough as it is. Are you ready? Okay. Oh, I think so. You can your, do it, Andrea. Your category is <laughs> things that have wheels that aren't vehicles. Go. Oh, Lord. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Wheelie bin, suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> Wheelie bin, that's yeah, definitely yeah, well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rollerblade. Wheelbarrow. Suitcase, you say suitcase? Yeah, I said suitcase, yeah. Do you say um, wheelie bin? <laughs> suitcase. Sure. It's going to be a long day if you keep this up. Ali's in Sorrento. Hi, Ali. Hi. Hi, Ali. Hello, Hello Ali. Uh, we're going to give you a category. We need five things in five seconds, okay? Okay. okay. Your category. Things that display the time go. A clock, a watch, an iPhone... Um, a computer, um, an iPad. And time's up. Time's up. Ooh, an time's iPad up. is a good answer. Yeah, microwave, oven, My oven, car. Uh, my oven clock, uh, the power went off and it's yeah. been... Yeah, that's been the same with my microwave. Zero, 12 clock or what is it? Mine just says microwave now. Oh, just, <laughs> <laughs> I just gave up. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, I know where you are. Lisa's in Brentwood. Hello. Hello, how are you? Hi, Hi Lisa. Lisa. Okay, are you feeling it? You're up and about? Oh, I hope so. You're gonna be good. I'm ready. You're going to be good. Okay. Five responses in All five right. seconds. <laughs> okay. Your category, Lisa, is things that would taste disgusting if you put tomato sauce on it. Go. Um, ice cream, uh, jam, um, sandwich, a pie. Time's up. A pie? A pie, a pie and a sandwich no, are built for sauce. Do you put jam on sauce? I went and sauce? put sauce on it. Well, you wouldn't <laughs> no. because it would taste disgusting. Sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, no joy there, Lisa. Sorry. Shannon, hello. No, you're right now. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Morning. Shan. I'm trying to give away Lizzo mm. tickets in the concert club suite. Uh, we want you to win. You feeling it? I want me to win too. Okay, good, 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 good. <laughs> All right. right. Nathan has your category. Your category is words you use to describe something as ugly. Go. Uh, uh, awful, terrible, uh, gross. <laughs> Disgusting. Gross. No, yeah. sorry. Time's up, wow. Shannon. Thank you for playing. Lynn's in Mount Hawthorne. Morning, Lynn. Hello, lovelies. Lynn, Hi. okay. Lynn. Are you feeling it, Lynn? <laughs> yeah, so it's I hard, am. isn't it? It is very hard. It's hard. It's hard. All right, now, Lynn, you're going to have five seconds to list off five things, and if you can do it and they fit the category, you score tickets to see Lizzo. All right, you ready, Sean? Okay. Absolutely, Lynn. You ready? Okay, ready. To go. Here we go. Sports that require you to jump. Go. High jump. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All the jumps: long jump, triple jump, every other sport. You know what? Nathan asked me that the other day and it got me. <laughs> Basketball, netball, football. No, but you just go to the jumps. You go to high yeah, jump yeah, and then you yeah. go, oh, oh, Sorry, Lynn. Uh, Bev's in Beaconsfield. Morning, Bev. Morning. How are you? Good, Good Bev. Oh, Bev, we're doing great. <laughs> we're just trying to give away. <laughs> so good. We're just trying to give away Lizzo tickets and it's apparently Nobody really difficult. Nobody wants them, that. Bev. Oh, I want them. Do you? <laughs> okay. Try yeah, really hard. All right. Okay. Um, have, we, have we done that one? Which we one? haven't done that one, have we? No. No, okay. Bev, your category is things that come in a squeeze bottle. Go. Mayonnaise, sauce, mustard, uh, ketchup. Um, oh. I know, time's no. up. I no. know. If you so just got close. out of the pantry and popped into the bathroom, you would have had um, shampoo, <laughs> shampoo, conditioner, conditioner. <laughs> toothpaste. <laughs> when well, you're stuck in a room, mate, what do you do? Uh, uh, you, you focus. Jason, hello. 
How are you going? Good, Great, guys. Jace. Jason's going to be really good at it. Okay. Are you ready, Jason? Yeah. Yeah, uh, mate. Five things in five seconds. Here we go. Things you shouldn't feed a goldfish. Go. Uh, bread. <laughs> Out <laughs> of oh, everything, I think bread will be okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I don't know, no. chocolate cake, a chop, <laughs> an icy pole, <laughs> roast beef, um, <laughs> knives, <laughs> concrete. Sorry, Chase, no dice. Um, Simon's a dunk, Craig. Hello, Simon. Hey there, how are you? Very good. We're just trying to give away Lizzo tickets, Simon. Please oh, take perfect. them off our hands, okay? We're trying our best. Absolutely. All right. All right. Sean, Sean's got a category for you. Okay, here we go, Simon. Words you use to celebrate. Go. Go. Uh, happy, joy, fun, glad, legend. If you're celebrating, do you go happy? No. Do you, you say go, yay? Yeah. You go Always. hooray. Yeah. Yeah. You know that legend, Woo-hoo. do you? Ruby, you. Ruby. Ruby saying thumbs down. Uh, big no. thumbs down. Sorry, we Simon. We would have given it to you, Simon. We would have given it to you. gave us five answers, but they didn't fit the category adequately. Uh, Mary, Hello. Hello. Hi, Mary. <laughs> Mary. Hello. Okay. Mary, your <laughs> category is things you eat starting with B. Go. Um, bun. <laughs> bun, oh bun, bun. Bun, bun, bun. Bun, bun, Did you just say bun, 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 bun? <laughs> oh, nice, bun. Bun, 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 bun. Beef. <laughs> Beef burger, you Sorry, Mary. Um, oh, okay. You did not pass the test, I'm afraid. Uh, bye, Mary. Darren, hello. How are you going, guys? Wonderful, Darren. Darren. We're trying to give away Lizzo tickets. These are the fancy ones in the concert club suite. They're, they're as good as it gets, okay? Awesome. It's like people don't want them. All right, Darren. Crazy. Darren, are you ready? Um, fire away. All right, so five things in five seconds, and what we're requiring is things you can't fit through a regular front door. Go. Uh, the car, bus, truck, uh, t- taxi, a, a motorbike, a helicopter. Unfortunately, you can fit a motorbike. Motorbike is your undoing! <laughs> and that happens to us after the buzzer. Yeah, yeah mate. <laughs> So close. Kawasaki 250 straight to the front door, mate. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, easily. my God. Easily. Yeah, what about like a mate? Easily. Oh, wait, come on, mate. You are close. Uh, Marlene? Is it Marlene? Oh, it's Martine. Martine. Oh, oh, okay. Martine. Sorry. Okay. Um, okay. We want we want you to win um, Lizzo tickets. Are you feeling it? Uh, I hope so. Okay, got to have your wits about you. Five things in five right. seconds that fit this category. Uh, things you might find on a roof. Go. Solar system, uh, tiles, beams, colour bonds. Time's up. Time's up. <laughs> Chimney, a bird. Yeah. My cat. <laughs> tennis ball. <laughs> oh, tennis ball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Marquine, Sorry, Marquine. Well done. Well done. Uh, We're going to take a break, we everybody. We need to take a We're break. We're going to regroup. We've got to come up <laughs> with you, another 94 categories. And everyone that's listening right now, just, you know, take a look at yourself. <laughs> you know Keep I mean? calling as well because clearly people can, uh, it's unwinnable. Take a look um, at yourself. All right, here we go. We're trying to give away really good tickets. Premium Bankwest best seats in the concert club. Food and drinks provided, of course. This is to see Lizzo at RAC Arena Friday the 14th of July. It's going to be a cracking concert. She's so good. Well, let's go to Geraldton and see if Megan can win these tickets. Good morning, Megan. Good morning. Megan. Megan. A lot of people have come before you and a lot of people have failed. How you Hopefully about none it? come after me. Yes. <laughs> oh, I like your attitude. <laughs> All right, Megan. Well, you're only standing in the way of yourself. Yes. Um, we need <laughs> five answers in five seconds. Are you ready? Yes. Your category is occasions where you wouldn't wear a fun skirt. Go. A birthday, oh, no, <laughs> a wedding, a funeral. Funeral, <laughs> yes. A job interview. <laughs> yeah, okay, you're done. <laughs> Thank yeah, you for playing birthday, if anyone's listening, it's a perfect place to wear it a fun is skirt. Do you wear a definitely. fun skirt to a, it's a good question, to a job interview? You probably wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. No, much. you want to be serious. Yeah. 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 Serious. That's a pencil on. skirt. Um, okay. Darren, hello. How are you going? Good, Good, Dad. buddy. Okay. <laughs> We're going to give you a category, five things in five seconds. Got to fit the category. Sean, take it away. Here we go, Darren. Words used to describe a hot day. Go. Stinker. Demon. 
Yeah. Those two, yes, absolutely. Scorcher, we were paying that. Yep. Yeah, Scorcher, oh, yeah. what else you had for yeah. us? Yeah. And something yeah. else. Uh, Sweltering. Yeah. Sweltering, great yeah. word. Unbearable. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. See? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Darren. Hot. Lena, hello. Hi. Hi All right, Lena. Lena. We are trying to give away Lizzo tickets. You ready? I am ready. Okay, <laughs> your category is things a dog might play with. Go. Um, ball, cat, stick, frisbee, um, basketball, um, basketball. football. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! We're dogs putting play putting play it on ball. Ruby here. Do, uh, the dogs Come on, please, Ruby. Come on, please, the dogs Ruby. traditionally play with cats, though. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 They're friends. They yeah. Do. They, they do. do. Yeah. My, yeah. It depends they on do. the relationship. Yeah. 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 I think that's fairly standard. Basketball, though. Basketball. Can we allow basketball? Given that ball was already given as well. Oh. Ruby, what do you think? No. Ruby says no. no. Sorry, Lena. Sorry, Lena. I mean, I'm sure there are basketball playing dogs out there, but... Yeah. That's a tough call, yeah. Ruby. Yeah. Yeah. Zoe, hello. I disagree hello. with you. Hi, Zoe. All right, Zoe. You're going to shut shut Hi. everything down now. You ready? Oh, uh, I, I kind of, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Yours is simple. All right. Zoe, your category is things gay men love. Go. Dancing, music, disco, concert, big set. What was the last thing? I said big shirts. I meant to say fancy shirts. <laughs> big, 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 big shirts. Notoriously, mate. Nice. Like moo moos. <laughs> <laughs> like the oversized shirts your mum wears. I would say the opposite of that. Big I would shirts. Say, <laughs> if you change big with mesh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you came close. So oh, close. Woo. Oh, that was actually amazing. There, 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 are, there are some gay guys out there that love big yes, shirts. I like I an oversized tra- shirt. Traditionally. I like an oversized shirt. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> We're just seeing a, a dog play oh, basketball. Okay, yes, Harry, there is a movie called Air Bud where a golden retriever plays basketball. But, but that's a fantasy that's a, that's movie, a not movie. based in... It's not a documentary. It's not so real. It's not yeah. about real dogs. Um, Olivia, hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Olivia. Olivia. Olivia, you ready for your category? Oh, I hope so. Okay, All right, Liv. Here we go. Here we go. Things that you put in your pocket go. Tissues, lighter, uh, coins, money, and oh, oh keys. The Bruce Lees. Jeez. Sorry, Olivia. Oh. So what about close. Your dog and bone. So close. No joy. Cassie, hello. That was an easy one, though. <laughs> Cassie. Hello. Hi, Hi Cassie. Cassie. Okay. Here we go. You'll have five seconds to give us five things that fit this category. You ready? Yep. Things that come. In spray cans. Go. Uh, spray can, hairspray, um, water, um, cleaner, toilet cleaner, window cleaner. Um. Time's up. I don't water? Think got in a spray can? Can yes, you? The you, you can yes, the Evian mist. You can get the Evian mist. Yes. Well, wow, blow me over with a feather. Yeah. What are we thinking? You're thinking... Wait, so what were the answers again? So we had spray tan. So spray tan, hairspray, hairspray water, 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 toilet cleaner, and, and cleaner. cleaner. Is there a spray toilet can cleaner. or toilet, Is there a toilet cleaner? toilet cleaner spray can? On it. So toilet there are, I mean, there cleaner. might be a trigger spray, but that's not the it's same not spray as spray cans. Can. I'm not going to a spray if I need to get rid of the shrapnel. I mean... You is. could Glen 20 the toilet yeah. bowl. Yes. Yeah. I will chill disinfect it. Yeah. Mm. All right, Ruby's giving you the <gasps> thumbs up. No! <laughs> and a I dog Cassie, you've won Lizzo tickets. You are <laughs> off to see Lizzo in premium Bankwest best seats. This is concert oh club Woo-hoo! access. Food drinks provided. It is at RAC Arena Friday the 14th of July, Cassie. You are going awesome. to love it. Cass- Thank you. Bat time. Yeah. 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 That's what we're talking about. Well played. All right. <laughs> now we can all oh. have a cigarette and relax. Is that right? Absolutely. <laughs> is it all? Like we've had a big smoke. session, haven't we? <laughs> I know. This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Hello, Ross. <laughs> Hello. Sorry, I was taking my jumper off just as you said that, and I didn't have a hand oh, to press Ross. the on-air oh, button. Oh, are you Where feeling hot, Ross? Are you feeling hey. hot, Ross? Oh, hot when Ross. is this going to end? Oh, when is this? Just Ross is fine, thank you. It'll end when you get a beer gut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let yourself go and we'll uh, let it go. It'll happen. Uh, Nat, you said you're catching a plane. Where are you going? Yes, I'm off to Melbourne for the long weekend, and I've got Tuesday off as well. 
Do you? Yeah. How yeah, do you swing? Monster. Did you go to the um, the leave orchard and pick up an extra day, did you? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I, I didn't go to your wing of it, though, because I didn't get an extra week. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Extra day. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't Because your tree's um, stripped bare. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just waiting to defruit. Ross. I, I poked Ross. the bear. Yes, you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you? Nath, uh, I'll, I'll do Monday. They always say don't come in Monday, but you can. If you want to do the Nathan experience on Monday with me. The Nathan experience. Mm. Feet with Ross. Ross. With hot Ross. With hot Ross. No, no, just Ross. No, with Ross. Ross. Cool dudes no, Ross. with hot Ross. <laughs> Nathan, Nat and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.